Hello everyone! In this video, we will see how to implement a UI interface to display when the player is about to interact with an object. The first thing we need to do is to create a widget. So I'm going to right click in the content browser, look for user interface, and I'm going to choose widget blueprint. I'm going to choose user widget here, and I'm going to rename that widget interact. I'm going to open this. And in the palette on the very top left, I'm going to look for a canvas panel. I'm going to drag and drop this canvas panel under the widget interact. Then I'm going to look for a vertical box, which I will also drag and drop under the canvas panel. Then I'm going to look for an image, which I will drag and drop under the vertical box. And finally, I'm going to look for a text, which I will also drag and drop under the vertical box. I'm going to change the default text to interact. As we can see right now, we have a text and a blank image on the very top left corner. However, if the player interacts with that, this will be displayed in a strange way. I need to center everything. So inside the vertical box, I'm going to click on anchors and select the middle anchor. The moment I do that, we can see that the anchoring is going to be centered horizontally and vertically. Now, for the image, I want to center my image horizontally, but also vertically. Same for my text here. I'm going to change that to center horizontally and center vertically. Back to the vertical box, I'm going to change the position to be 0 on X and 0 on Y. Now we can see that the vertical box is almost aligned perfectly. I just need to change the alignment from 0 to 0 0.5 on X and on Y. The moment I do that, we can see that everything is now perfectly aligned. So every time the player will interact with the object, this will be perfectly aligned and display in the middle of the components. So right now, for my case, I do not have any specific image, I just have a white cube. But this is where you would put an image, whatever you want to use, that can, for example, prompt the user to use a specific uh, control, a specific key on the keyboard to interact with objects. So this is all we need to do for the actual widget, for the actual UI interface. So I'm going to compile, I'm going to save, and now I'm going to implement that to whatever interactable object we have. In my case, I have my cube here, which is a BP interactable. So I'm going to open this blueprint. And on the viewport, you can see that I have the mesh. I have some interaction bounds here. This is the zone where the player will enter to see the UI text being displayed. And the moment the player leaves this zone, then the text will disappear. So in this component, I'm going to add a widget. So I'm going to look for widget. Now, inside this widget component, I'm going to change the user interface settings. So first, I'm going to change the space. By default, it's set to world. I'm going to change that to screen. With this change, the player will directly see the text being shown in the middle of the screen and wherever the player is facing. So if I move left, the text will adapt to always be facing the player. And if I move right, it will be the same. If I was keeping that to world, the text will be displayed in one direction and will only be accessible from a specific angle. By changing it to screen, the text will always be facing the player. And finally, for the widget class, I'm going to select the widget interact we created. Now inside the event graph, I need to make sure that once the player enters the interaction bounds, the text will be displayed, and once the player leaves it, the text will be removed. So to do that, in the event graph, I'm going to right click on interaction bounds here. I'm going to choose add event and on component begin overlap. This means that once I am entering, once the player is entering the interaction zone, then something will happen. At the same time, I need to create another event called on component and overlap. So every time we leave the zone, then something else will happen. In that case, what we want is the widget to be displayed or not. So I'm going to drag and drop the widget component inside the event graph. From the widget, I'm going to look for a set visibility node. I'm going to do that twice. 
So I'm going to look for set visibility again. I'm going to attach the begin overlap to the first set visibility event. And I'm going to change the new visibility to true. Every time we enter the zone, the text will be displayed. So the visibility will be true. And once we leave that, I'm going to change the set visibility to false. So the very top new visibility is turned on and the one at the bottom, it is turned off. Now I'm going to compile this and save. And that's all we need to know. As a side note, I need to mention that the widget component is added to the blueprint, but we cannot really see it. And we kind of have to trust the engine here. And one last thing is on this widget component, I'm going to search for visibility. And I'm going to turn this visible setting to false. By default, it's turned to true, so it always will be visible. If I turn it to false, it will become visible only when the overlapping event happens. So by default, make sure to have the rendering set to false. So rendering visible false. If you don't do that, you will always see the UI interface being shown on the screen. So now I'm going to go into play mode. Look at my cube. I am far away from the interaction bounds, so nothing is happening. I get close to it and we can see the UI being displayed. Move away from it, it's now being hidden. And if I go left or right, it's always facing the player. So this is it for this video and I will see you in the next one.